Hi guys! Continue tayo sa ating lesson. Ngayon is na sa grade 5 math, quarter 4, module 7, lesson 1. So, nasa module 7 na tayo, last na module na ito sa quarter 4. That is analyzing data obtained from experiment. Ngayon is pag-aaralan natin kung paano tayo mag-analyze ng data na na-obtained natin or nakuha natin sa ating mga experiment. So, meron tayo ditong analyze data obtained from chance using experiments involving letter cards A to Z and number cards 0 to 20. Meron tayong example dito, alphabet cards of the same size and shape were put in a bag. Three cards have letter M, four cards have letter A, two cards have letter T, and one card has letter H. So, i-analyze natin ang ating example. Meron tayong alphabet cards na magkapareho yung size at magkapareho yung shape na nilagay sa bag. Ang three cards daw ay letter M yung nakalagay. Ang four cards ay letter A ang nakalagay. Ang two cards naman ay letter T ang nakalagay at ang one card ay letter H ang nakalagay. So, kung isusulat natin siya, ang letter M is meron siyang ilang cards? Tatlo. And then, ang letter A is meron siyang apat na card. So, ang A is merong apat. And then, ang letter T is merong dalawa. So, ang T is dalawa. And then, ang H is isa. So, ang H is meron siyang isang card. So, nilagay ito sa bag, itong mga cards na ito. Ngayon, pag-aaralan natin ang ating data sa pamamagitan ng pagsagot ng mga question na ito. So, meron tayong question dito. Number one, what is the total possible outcomes? Okay, so ano yung total possible outcomes natin? Ano yung ibig sabihin ng total possible outcomes? Ang total possible outcomes is kung ilan sila lahat sa iyong experiment. So for example, si M merong tatlo, si A merong apat, si T merong dalawa, at si H merong isa. So para malaman mo kung ano yung total possible outcomes mo, itotal mo ito lahat. So meron tayong 3, meron tayong 4 equals 7. Plus 2 equals 9, plus 1 equals 10. So, ibig sabihin, ang total possible outcomes natin is ito sila lahat at 10 sila. So, ang sagot natin dito sa number 1 is 10. Number 2, what is the probability of picking a? So, meron tayong uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 na question. So, ano yung probability na makakuha ka ng letter A or letter A, uh, letter M or letter A, T, H, vowel, consonant at J? So, isolve natin siya. Paano natin isolve ang probability na makakuha ka ng letter M? Napag-aralan natin sa previous lesson natin ang ang formula sa pagkuha ng probability is equal to number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of possible outcomes. So meron na tayong total number of possible outcomes which is 10 kasi ito lahat is 10 and the number of favorable outcomes ibig sabihin kung ilan yung or kung ano yung gusto mong makuha na resulta divide sa kung ilan lahat ang kasali sa iyong experiment. Okay, so ito yung formula na gagamitin natin. Probability is equal to number of Favorable outcomes divided by the total number of possible outcomes. Letter A tayo. So, what is the probability of picking a card with letter M? So, ano kaya yung probability na makakuha tayo ng card na letter M sa bag? Ilan yung letter M natin dito? Tatlo. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating favorable outcomes is tatlo. So, 3 over, ilan sila lahat? 10. So, 3 over 10 or 3 of 10. Ang sagot natin dito sa letter A. Letter B naman, card with letter A. So, ano yung probability na makakuha tayo ng letter A na card? So, ilan yung letter A natin dito? Apat. So, ibig sabihin, 4 of 10 or 4 over 10 or i-reduce natin siya into lowest term. So, magiging si 4 at si 10, pwedeng i-divide sa 2. So, 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2 divide and over 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. So, ang sagot natin sa letter B is 2 over 5 or 2 of 5. Letter C, card with letter T. So, ilan yung letter T natin? Dalawa. So, ibig sabihin, 2 over 10 or i-reduce natin into lowest term. So, pwede silang ma-divide dalawa sa 2. So, 2 divided by 2 equals 1 over 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. So, ang probability na makakuha tayo ng letter T is 1 fifth or 1 of 5. Letter D, card with letter H. So, ilan yung H natin? Isa. So, ibig sabihin, ang favorable, ang total favorable outcomes natin is 1 and then, ang total possible outcomes is 10. So, 1 over 10 or 1 of 10. And then, letter A, card with a vowel. So, saan, uh, sa card natin dito, ilan yung vowel natin? 
sa letter A. At sa letter A is 4. So, ibig sabihin, ang uh, total favorable outcomes natin is 4. So, that is 4 over the total possible outcomes na 10. So, 4 over 10. So, i-reduce natin into lowest term. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. And then, 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. So, 2 over 5 or 2 of 5. So, letter F naman, what is the probability of picking a card with a consonant? So, ilan yung consonant natin dito? Meron tayong M, meron tayong T, at meron tayong H. Ilan yung M natin? Tatlo. Ang T natin is dalawa, so lima na. And then, ang H is isa. So, that is 6. So, 3 plus 2 equals 5 plus 1 equals 6. So, that is 6 over 10. Or, reduce natin siya into lowest term. So, pwede silang ma-divide sa 2. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3 over... 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. So, 3 over 5 or 3 of 5. Card with letter J. So, ano kaya ang, ang probability na makakuha tayo ng letter J? Meron ba tayong letter J sa ating given or sa ating favorable outcomes? Wala. So, ibig sabihin 0 over ilan yung favorable outcomes natin? 10. So, over 10 or 0 of 10. O, oh, ayun na magsulat. 0 over 10 or 0 of 10. Ngayon naman, tapos na tayo sa letters. So, punta tayo sa numbers. I-analyze natin ang ating data dito. Meron tayong mga numbers sa cards. So, meron tayong 5, 9, 10, 18, 15, 5, 9, 5, 7, 20, 9, 5. So, ilan sila lahat? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, ibig sabihin, ang total possible outcomes natin is 12 or 12 lahat ang kasali sa ating experiment. Now, if you pick each card above, what is the possibility of picking a card with number? Meron tayong 1 to 10. So, kapag nagkuha ka daw ng card dito sa taas, ano kaya yung probability na makakuha ka ng card na number 1? 5. So, ano yung probability na makakuha ka ng 5? I-count natin kung ilan yung 5. So, 1, 2, 3. So, ibig sabihin tatlo ang ating 5. So, ang sagot natin dito is... Ang ating favorable outcomes is 3 over, ilan lahat ito ang ating numbers? 12. So, 3 over 12, or reduce natin into lowest term. So, pwede silang ma-divide pareho sa 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1 over 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. So, ang sagot natin sa number 1 is 1 fourth or 1 of 4. Sa so, number 2 naman, 7. So, ilan yung 7 natin dito? Isa. So, ibig sabihin, 1 of 12 ang sagot natin. And then number 3, 25. Meron ba tayong 25 sa ating card? Wala. So, ibig sabihin, 0 over 12 or 0 of 12. Sa so, number 4 naman, 9. So, ilan yung 9 natin? 1, 2, 3. So, tatlo. So, 3 over 12 or reduce natin again into lowest term. I-divide natin sila pareho sa 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1 over 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. So, ang sagot natin sa number 4 is 1 fourth or 1 of 4. Sa so number 5 naman, 10. So, ilan yung 10 natin dito? Isa. So, ibig sabihin, isa lang yung favorable outcomes natin over the total possible outcomes na 12. So, 1 12 or 1 of 12. Sa so number 6 naman, 15. So, ilan yung 15 natin? 1, 2. So, Meron tayong dalawang favorable outcomes over the total possible outcomes na 12. Or, i-reduce natin siya into lowest term. So, si 2 at si 12, pwedeng ma-divide kay 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 over 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. So, that is 1 of 6. And then, number 7, 2. Ilan yung 2 natin dito? Meron ba tayong 2 sa ating given? Wala. So, ibig sabihin, 0 ang favorable outcomes dahil wala tayong 2 over the total possible outcomes na 12. So, ang sagot natin is 0 of 12. Sa so, number 8 naman, 18. So, ilan yung 18 natin dito sa ating cards? Isa. So, isa yung favorable outcomes over the total possible outcomes na 12. So, that is 1 of 12. Sa so, number 9 is 20. Ilan yung 20 natin sa ating cards? Isa din. So, that is isa ang favorable outcomes divided by or over the total possible outcomes na 12. So, 1 of 12 pa rin ang sagot natin. And then lastly, ang number 10 is 12. So, titingnan natin meron ba tayong 12 sa ating cards? Wala. So, ibig sabihin 0 ang favorable outcomes over 12 na total possible outcomes. So, that is 0 of 12. 
Okay, so ganyan lang kadali mag-analyze ng data obtained from the experiment. So, i-analyze nyo lang talaga ang data para masagutan nyo ang iyong mga question. That's all for today's video, guys. Ang susunod nating lesson is lesson 2 naman. Solve routine and non-routine problem uh, involving experimental probability. So, yun ang susunod nating lesson. See you in our next lesson. Bye!